Hello, in this video I'm going to show you guys how to attack on Icebox as a Cypher. So we'll cover all the tripwires you can use for flank on A and B. And I'll show you how to push different sides and lurk through mid. So, without further ado, let's get into the video. Alright, when pushing A site with your team, and let's say you do not want enemy teams flanking you no matter what, then the tripwires you want to do when the barriers go down is this one right here. This one prevents enemies pushing out of mid and it prevents enemies from jumping on this box. If enemies can jump onto this box, they can then get past everything else and are now in your spawn. So this tripwire completely prevents that. The second tripwire to prevent enemies from entering your spawn is this one right here. Fantastic. No one's getting past you. Oh, look at that. Enemies who are pushing out of B main, maybe they want to try and flank and you guys are going A. Yeah, they're not going to be able to get towards A. So now you've got all of this free space. All of this. All of this is covered by two tripwires. And now you've got a lot more play, a lot more space for you to play in. Especially if you want to, you know, be a little bit ratty. Maybe you want to hide here from, from the B push. Or maybe you want to stay up there. Yeah. It's, it's very nice. So these tripwires are fantastic. Gives you a lot more space. Alright, so one of the downsides of having this tripwire set up is that enemies can actually hide in these corners if the enemy is quite smart and if you guys wanted to push A and then you changed your mind maybe A was a bit tough and then you decided to rotate there might be an enemy who actually waits here and then does manage to surprise you guys or catch you off guard that's why I recommend having either a camera set up that's looking towards B main so something like this just so you can see as he's crossing over and it also watches mid you can see their legs and they can't really see this cam so this one's pretty nice if maybe you're on TikTok, you know, maybe you were on TikTok in, in, whilst everyone else was getting ready and you don't get time to put those other tripwires down, then you can just do these simple ones like this. And enemies cannot flank you. Just be careful. Enemies can actually just wait in this area. And then if you do decide to rotate, they will surprise you and your teammates will blame you because you didn't put good tripwires down. So do the ones I've shown earlier. If you only have money for one tripwire, then I suggest you put that tripwire towards um, mid, like this, and then place another place a cam down, something like this. If you don't want to put a cam, if you don't want to put a tripwire for mid, then you can actually do a pretty decent tripwire that covers a you know a, a large amount of of a, so they can't really flank this way. If you want it to be if you want it to be a bit more protected, then you can drag it out a little bit. But just be careful because this box isn't straight. It will be a lot harder for you to do your tripwires. But you could do something like this. Very hard for the enemies to get past as you can see. And now if they do come from mid. They have less time to react to this. They can't use this box to jump over them. And usually if they do if they do want to try and get up this way. They kind of have to go all the way around like this. It's going to take a lot of time. And a lot of the time people don't tend to flank that way. They'll just keep running this way and buzz. So this one's pretty good if you only have money for one tripwire. It's alright. It's a decent. But make sure you try and pair that with a camera either up there or something like this. Just to fortify that defense. Here. If you can put a cam along this line like this. It's pretty hidden. You know it's hard to spot the cam but the cam can see my head. I'm barely seeing it. And so enemies that are crossing over you can actually spot them. You can see pretty deep into mid. So this is a pretty, pretty nice cam that I do suggest you use, especially if you want to hold the push towards A, so you can push A safely and have a nice time. So typically your flank setup would look something like this if you guys are pushing A site. That's your typical flank setup, it'll look something like this. And if you are pushing with your teammates and you, you just want a five man rush a site, you know, and you can actually use a cam like this. To just clear sight for your duelists. Maybe you've got a Rainer on your team. Because I've seen people people just run Rainer. And then they do two Sentinels. Controller, Initiator. That kind of thing. So they tend to not run jet on this map. People like playing Rainer. So this cam will be great to clear sight for the Rainer. To then kind of make him in a good mood a little bit. You know because. Typical duelists. Anyway. <laughs> so this will be nice. You clear the sight for the duelist. Or help them out a little bit. Ping where enemies are. You can. Now um, with your cam, you can reveal people like this. Once when they're trying trying to take the dart out in nest, you can wallbang them. If they're trying to take the dart out in rafters, you can actually stand a bit further back and then wallbang them across this way. So that's also pretty nice. If they're behind the green box, you can wallbang. 
so you can see everything with this camera. So it's pretty nice if you are attacking a site. If you have a spare tripwire, because you only placed one for flank, and the spikes yeah. planted here, then you can obviously do a tripwire something like this if you want, to prevent enemies coming from backside to defuse, and then you can pair this up with a cage if you're playing here. And they, as soon as they hit the tripwire, activate the cage, you can swing out, or you can jump onto this spot and then boom, kill them, and then reposition by then putting yourself on the spike, and then enemies will be confused. You can do a tripwire like this, and yeah. the spike's down there, so enemies just gives you a little bit more space, and the tripwire makes it a little bit better if you're playing, you know, if you've got more teammates alive. So if you've got a teammate playing over here, then that tripwire is pretty nice. If you've got a teammate flanking, then these tripwires are pretty nice. Because enemies can get revealed earlier and there's less room for them to hide in. So this one's pretty good. A variation of this camp, if you are attacking, is you can actually put it up here. Like this. To then clear sight this way. And it gives you a, a slightly better view of yeah. the guy hiding behind green, which is pretty nice. So you can boom, ping like this. It's a little bit more protected. You can also, if you want the cam to be placed higher to clear a little bit more, you can obviously jump successfully, hopefully, <laughs> onto pipes and then place your cam high up and at a diagonal like this to cover a lot more of sight. Just be careful. The enemies who are exposed to this cam will also see that being placed and they can break it it's almost straight away. But it gives you a good second of vision that you can then use to relay back to your teammates, look at the minimap, see where the question marks are to see where the enemies are, and you'll be fine. So that's kind of how you want to push A site as a cipher. I do not recommend lurking through A to get to B, and I don't recommend lurking through B to get to A. I recommend lurking through mid to get to A, because that's, I think that's vital. Because the only two ways you can push site are either through yeah. pipes, through this main entrance where the orb is, or through mid, here, which is around here, or through spawn, but you're not really gonna, you know. So, through mid. Now I'll show you how to lurk through mid to get to A. So we're gonna have our tripwire set up so no one can flank our teammates this way. And we can, if we want, we can set a camera up here, which is fantastic, it's fine. Or, we can save our cam for mid. So now we put this down, the barrier's gone down, and we, we wanna make sure yeah. we stay here. We once I think this yeah. is probably the most important part of the map on attack, because if you're here, enemies who are pushing out of tube or out of mid will be heading straight for your spawn. You'll be here. You can kill one, and now you can have a cage chuck over here. Cage and I can use this to rotate back yeah. to spawn. You can use this cage to jump into tube, and so this, or you can just use that cage to fake and then yeah. just stay in the same spot. That's kind of what you, what you want to do, as cipher. You want to wait here until your teammates are on yeah. site. And once you hear enemies starting to move, or once you, you know, once you once your teammates are struggling a little bit, then start moving up. Try not to go up tube if you are going towards A, because it does delay it, because you have to go all the way yeah. around now. If maybe you are up here, you can just jump out the window and then run yeah. to your teammates, if, you know, if they're panicking a little bit. But ideally, uh, if you want to lurk through mid to A, you just want to wait here for a little bit, get one pick. If not, just keep going. And now this is where camera number two comes in. Because you can use this cam over here to just clear out anybody who might be holding you down there. See, we can't, I can't see anything there. But now the cam has kind of cleared that for me. Which is pretty nice. Or, you can go up here. You can quickly chuck one down in mid. Boom. Cleared. Just like that. Just be careful. Enemies can hear these cams get placed down. And so their attention might be diverted to you. Which can be good if you want more people to be yeah. focused on you. So your teammates can get an easier time pushing sight. So using utility like your cage, like your camera in mid, can draw attention to yourself. Enemies will be focused on you because you'll be lurking, and your teammates can get a free sight. So that's kind of how you want to lurk through mid. Like this, you can use your cam to clear this area. And if you continue pushing, then I suggest you hang around a little bit. Make sure you're not constantly on the move because Icebox is a ratty map. Not only is it a ratty, is it ratty for attackers, it's also ratty for de defenders. Defenders can just wait here for the, for the entire game and still have an impact because they can just stay here, peek out, kill one teammate, and go back here. And then, you know, so defenders will be ratting, so you got to be careful. So try and stay in the place for a couple seconds, then move to the next spot, so stay here for a little bit. You know, no one's making any noise. Okay, now boom. Now once you're here, you'll be able to listen out. If people are retaking the site, you can just swing and kill them, or you can continue to follow them, especially if it turns into a 1v1, and the guy's yeah. defusing, he's going to assume... You're going to be in the yeah. nest area because you took so long in mid, 
Right, you made no noise in mid, and he was in mid. He thinks he, he cleared it. Uh-uh. He tries to defuse. Boom. So something like that. That's ideally how you want to end up on A through mid. Hope that uh, clears some stuff up. Because I've seen some people, um, some ciphers, they just, they really like going up cheap. Great, great plan. But you gotta be a little bit quicker if you are doing that. And it's a lot more dangerous. Because if you die here, and you t if your teammates die really quickly, I mean, on A main, and you're, you're in tube, you know, they're gonna blame you. Or if you're in B lurking yeah. towards A, they're gonna blame you because you've taken too long. Or well, people just generally like blaming you anyway. So, if you want to lurk towards A, try and go through yeah. this area towards pallets maybe, and then into screams. This path. Getting in this corner to monitor flank, make sure no one can flank you, and you will be sorted. Now, when it comes to pushing B, let's say you and your entire team are pushing B site, right? Um, this one's, this trip is fantastic. Because no one can actually push you from A or mid. They'll all end up by this tripwire and they can't really see your teammates. It's going to be hard for them to because you generally you're not going to have a teammate just standing here once you've actually planted on B. So enemies will have a harder time trying to find you. The same thing applies over here. They're not really going to be able to take much space or have much of an impact if they are here. If they are here and you decide to rotate, uh-oh, that's not going to be good. So you can have a camera set up and a decent camera you can do is... Like this to just watch that area so this camera for to watch towards the b side and then obviously you can have here you can just mirror them or put them anywhere up here because people usually expect you to put your cameras along this wall and so they'll be looking there but if you have it slightly out of view out of view in an unexpected place and you can always vary them so that's why it's good to have a camera there to kind of just see this in case someone is lurking there be careful, enemy jets can glide off of this box to get over your tripwire, so they'll jump and bzzz, and they'll get over this. That's why we have a camera set up there to prevent that. This is the main tripwire you want to use. You only need one, and that means you can save the second one or sight. So on B site, you're generally not going to have a camera, but let's say the enemy team doesn't run a jet or doesn't run a raise or someone that has a form of mobility, then you can keep this camp and you'll have a spent tripwire. And that means your sight hold will be even stronger on attack. And so what you can do is you can actually place your camera up here on attack. Just like this. Oh, I placed it a little bit too. Make sure the cam's facing away from you like this. Now you can clear sight for your teammates or for your Reyna if you've got a Reyna on your team. Boom. Now if enemies are trying to defuse, your cam can ping them. And then people will break the cam. Then they go. Then they have to take the dart out. And then you can just... Boop, stuff like this. And if you have planted in these corners... I've shown some pretty nice, um, you can use a defense tripwire, so something like this, pretty good. And so stuff like that, you can, if you place stuff like this, so if enemies are trying to defuse a spike, they're going to be stuck. And then if you put a cage on top of them, you can either play from this side, or you can play over here, or you can play down here, and you'll get a free elimination. So that's one of the benefits of B site, especially if you're planting there. I'll explain defaulting and other general lurking tips towards the end but if you want to lurk through mid to b you can obviously have this one tripwire to prevent your teammates from getting flanked and then what you can do you can actually put a decent tripwire down uh, like this you know or something like this if you want to prevent enemies pushing from a pushing out of a towards mid because this tripwire prevents them pushing out of a towards mid just be careful enemies can jump across that tripwire this way but a lot of the time they're not going to do that and you'll probably hear them jumping around because um my advice is yeah. you just stay there for a bit and so this tripwire is great at preventing enemies from going towards mid if they break this tripwire if you don't put a tripwire there it's fine because your teammates won't get flanked but try and do something like this too because enemies can now not jump over this box to then flank and get into mid so this one's pretty good this is kind of how you want to have your setup if you are lurking through mid to B. I hope I'm 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 hoping I'm, I'm trying to make this as simple as I can. I don't want to overcomplicate it. But like this. And if you are going towards B, you're gonna wait here for a little bit, wait for enemies to make noise. You can chuck a cage here. Um, especially if they've got a killjoy turret that's up there. Because I've seen a lot of the time they do have a killjoy turret up there. Then you can cage this off and then you can cross up yeah. this way. Or you can cage a little bit um further out. So something like this. Cage trigger a bit further out and you can use this to cross underneath like this so something like that that's kind of how you want to deal with that situation if there's a killjoy turret up there if there's nothing up there 
then you can just take your time to cross over. And once you're here, you've kind of won the game. Because you can stay crouched in here for as long as you like. And enemies pushing out of tube will generally just be going straight. Uh-oh. And then you'll be crouched down here and you'll be able to kill them. Enemies pushing out of mid, you can surprise them because they won't really expect someone to still be in tube. If you hear them step, or if they if they hit this tripwire, here. then you can just swing out. Boom. Pretty nice. Or you can warbang them through this. Or if you have a... Maybe you've set up a camera in spawn. Here. And then you, you ping them with your cam, and as they're taking the dart out in mid, maybe they're standing over here taking the dart out. Pretty nice. Anyway, so if you want to continue your luck up through tube, you go this way. Just be careful of this. You might be exposed. So hold this angle for a little bit, because enemies will rotate through their spawn. That's what they're meant to be doing. And you might be able to get a cheeky head tap, because a lot of the time people still don't expect this window to be here. People aren't used to it, because so, because it's so early on, people won't be checking this. So as enemies are rotating... They won't even look at you, and you just, boom, easy kill. And now you can just jump out if you want, and then go underneath tube, and then towards B. Or you can continue your lurk this way. Be careful though, if an enemy team has a cypher, he might put a tripwire across like this. But it's still pretty easy to break, because you can literally just, you know. You know exactly where it's going to be, and you'll be able to break that, nice and simple. And now once you're over here, I suggest you just hang around for a little bit. Don't try and continue to push this way because enemies can flank you from behind if you've missed them. Or maybe someone is hanging around here. Maybe someone's yeah. standing there. So just wait here for a little bit, you know. Hold that angle. As your teammates are planting, once the spike's been planted, enemies will rotate. They, they, none of, No one's going to shift and rotate. They're all going to make noise and stomp. So you'll hear, you can tell your teammates there's two over here. There's one coming from mid. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. That's kind of how you want to play. You can also hide in this corner. I like this. It's the ratty corner. You can wait here and hold the guys mid. If you have a cam, you can have a, you can put a cam set up here. And you can see inside of tube. I've shown this in my defense guide. So make sure you check that out. So now you can see if you're being flanked from here or from inside of tube. So you can hold this angle. Check your cam. Continue doing this. And they can't break the cam from inside. So you'll be, you'll be you're safe. You're safe. Getting in this spot, you've won the game. And that's kind of how you want to push through tube towards B. Uh, you can, if you want, continue to go down here. Just be careful because now enemies um, who are rotating yeah. here will kind of flush you to go out towards site. And if they've got someone CT yeah. or if they've got someone yeah. already on site and someone's seen you, you're kind of screwed. So you can put a cage here and then drop down because you're protected the entire time. And then you can go this way and now your teammates can... You can hold a crossfire with your teammates like this. You can then swing the guy here or here. Just to make your life a little bit easier. That's kind of how you want to look towards B. If you did decide to lurk under tube, maybe. So you you know you waited a little bit, you lurked under tube. Then what I suggest you do is I suggest you try and get into this corner as quickly as you can. Or you yeah. get into here as quickly as you can. People won't expect you to be here. This is what you need to realize. People won't expect you to be here. People will expect you to be here because this was the original ratty spot, right? So people will clear this instantly. They don't see you. Look, I cannot see. My gun is covering the right side of my screen. I am unable to see. If I'm clearing this corner, I'm unable to see a little cypher hiding up here with his gun poking out. I'm not going to be able to see that. So yeah. you being in here, good advantage. And then if you want, you can either have a cam um, set up like this. You know, kind of just cover the mid area and cover you like this, which is, you know, pretty nice. So having a camp literally set up like this, you're sorted forever. A little bit more at an angle like this, you'll be fine. And then, so if you want to go on the tube, that's how you want to do it. Make sure you wait for your teammates to actually get closer to site before continuing your luck. Both ways are fine, as long as you gather information as you're doing this. And don't always do the same thing because people will be looking out for you. And if you die once doing this stuff, then you're, you're leaving your teammates at a disadvantage. You kind of don't want to die. And if you do want to draw attention to yourself, then make sure you have cages available and have an escape route. So you don't die and enemies will be distracted. So your teammates get a free sight. Now, when it comes to defaulting on this map and you want to lurk through A, then I suggest you really do take your time. You can uh, use a camera to clear the early corners to make sure you're not getting sniped or anything. 
And you can cage this off like this, especially if they've got a jet or a chamber who's, um, you know, up there with an operator. Because it can be difficult to deal with, especially if you're a cypher. You've got no utility to kind of like, you know, swing off of. You've got your cam, but, you know. So you can, have, you can set up the cage there to then push. It doesn't matter if people have seen the cage because you're defaulting anyway. And what this might do, it might draw attention to you. And it might free up another site, or it might free up a mid because the mid guy decided to rotate. Stuff like that. And you can wait here. If you didn't use your cam to clear the corner, maybe you just use the cage, then you can use your cam and put it up here, and then just continue as normal. Continue as pushing site. But if your teammates have gone mid, and maybe you want to lurk into A, to then, you know, kind of free up A a little bit that way, then I suggest you push from the right side, because this has all the ratty corners. This is ratty corner number one. This is ratty corner number two. This is ratty corner number three. This is a righty spot, and this is a righty spot. You've got to clear all of them. So if you want to push A side and you want to lurk through it, make sure you clear from the right first. Because on the left side, there's not much you can do. The places you can hide, I mean. Because as you're, as you're clearing the right side, you'll naturally clear the left anyway. Because you clear this, no one's hiding there. Okay, no one else is going to be there anyway. So you can then you can, you know. As you're clearing this side, you'll see what's there. And then you can clear, clear, clear. And now you can wait here, and then you can become the rat. So if your teammates make noise yeah. on mid, and maybe they come yeah. back towards spawn, you can tell them, come towards A through spawn. Enemies will be rotating, but they'll be surprised. And then peekaboo. So that's how a default would end up if you are lurking towards or lurking onto A. And now the similar, it's it's the same thing that applies onto B sites if you are lurking onto B. If you're lurking onto B, or you know, you're defaulting onto B, I wouldn't recommend going from B to A and A to B, I mentioned that. But if you're defaulting, then you can use a cam to kind of clear this for any operators. Or you can place a cam over here if you want to clear out yellow a bit easier, but the cam is going to be a bit more exposed. That's how you do it. And I'll suggest you go this way. Never, ever go this way. Because you, you you might die instantly. There's some off angles people can hold, and you're going to get your head taken off. Especially if they're standing up there, they can see your head first. And you'll be dead. So that's something to bear in mind. Go this way. Obviously, you're going to have your cam set up there to clear it out for you. As I mentioned earlier. If not, then you can just put one here to clear early. You can even just use a cage if you want. Cage trigger. Walk into your cage. Um, and then you can you know, quickly shut your cam there. Boom, 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 boom. See who's underneath you. Boom, boom. And something like that. So that stuff's fine. And then once you're in this corner, you can just wait. I suggest you go around this way. Because then, then you're hidden, you're hiding from the guy over here. This guy who's behind yellow is always going to be holding the angle like this, right? So if you cage that area off like I've shown earlier and then use it to cross over, he's going to be confused. Now, if he if he wides holds the angle like this, he's exposed to over here. So he's just going to be like this. Either that or he repositions and goes here. If he repositions, you know where he's going to be because common sense tells you, you know, you can just go here. He's going to get impatient. Every, you, you guys need to remember this. If, you're, if you are patient, someone's going to be impatient. The more patient you are, the less patient the enemy team is. So if you be patient, the guy that was holding you in sight, he's going to start making noise. He's going to start jumping around. He's going to start touching himself because he's going to get impatient. And that's when you make your move. And that's when you kill him. And that's when, as he's rotating, that's when you swing. That's how you want to deal. And that's how you want to lurk onto b sign. As a, when you're defaulting. And then once you get to this area, I don't suggest going back yeah. side. I don't suggest going spawn. I suggest you go this way and then and then continue going down there. Then you can go over here. And once you're in this corner, you've also won the game for your team. Because no one's going to clear this corner. Because enemies who are in spawn are only going to... Please. Oh, enemies over here cannot see you. They're going to keep going. They're not going to see you. But you're going to be hiding here. Like... <laughs> they can't see you. And then... <laughs> peek up. You get in this corner, and a default, you'll be fine. But yeah, that is the end of the video. Uh, I know it was a little bit quick, and I hope I did manage to clear this up, because I know people were, um, a lot of the people that I've been coaching were getting a little bit confused on when they should lurk, how they kind of should lurk, so I, I hope that does help out. I really do hope it does help out. Um, I will be releasing YouTube Shorts now. If you, want to, if you guys want to give me some video ideas or something you want to see, I will definitely make a video on it and I will see you guys next time.